let's go through all the things that Desmos can do with complex numbers. And of course it does a lot. I'm gonna start at desmos.com in the scientific calculator. The very first thing that we need to do is to turn complex mode on. I'm gonna to go to the settings with this wrench and then toggle over to complex mode on. Let's put our cursor in an empty cell and start with something like the square root of negative four. Notice how it gives me that value to i. If I were to put it back into the default mode, it would show that value as undefined. Okay, back to complex mode. I wanna grab another empty cell and we can do some more calculations. So for example, I can do I squared and that gives me that value negative one. I can also add complex numbers together. So let's do five plus two I and then we'll do plus three minus I. Notice how it adds those real and imaginary parts together. Speaking of those real and imaginary parts, I can ask for those by doing real and then five plus two i, and it returns the number five. And I can also do imaginary imag five plus two i, and then it gives me that value two, which is for the imaginary unit. You can do all of these operations and more, but also visualize them with the graphing calculator. So let's switch to the graphing calculator. As I open up the graphing calculator in Desmos, I also need to turn on the complex mode. So I'm gonna to go to the graph settings and toggle on complex mode. Now here we can actually define values. So I can say that Z is equal to five plus three I. And once I've got that defined, notice that this point over here shows up. If I click and hold on the point, I get some options. I have drag on, which means that I can move this around. Watch how the coordinates change as I move this, but I can also turn drag off. Let me go ahead and turn drag off here for a minute. And I'm gonna redefine this as a simpler value. So two plus um, three I. Uh, let's label it two plus three I because I want to show you that what I'm looking at is this number graphed in the complex plane. My horizontal axis is now the real axis. So my point lines up with two, which is the real part. And the vertical axis is my imaginary axis. Here we've got three I, so it's lined up with three on that vertical axis. We can take that complex number Z and do some of those operations that we saw earlier. So we can ask for the real part of Z. We can also ask it for the conjugate of Z where we change the sign on the imaginary part. So I'm just gonna do start typing conjugate until it stops and makes it no longer italicized. So it's C-O-N-J. And then I want the conjugation of Z and notice how it changed that to two minus three I. Let me label this one. I'm gonna put this first value Z on drag. So pressing and holding, let's go ahead and turn drag on, click off of there. And as I drag this around, notice how it also changes the conjugation. And we can see that this is really a reflection across that horizontal axis. In addition, we can find the modulus of a value. I'm actually gonna define a new one. Let's let W equal three plus four I. Let me get rid of the other two as we're looking at this modulus. To find the modulus of this, we're really looking for the length of the segment that connects zero to three plus four I. We're gonna do that by doing the absolute value. So I can do ABS of W and it gives me five. Let's grab another cell. You can also do this with the absolute value symbol. Let's open up that keyboard by clicking that up arrow and choosing the absolute value symbol above ABC and typing in W. Now, in addition to W, let's define Z as well. So I'm just gonna put Z back up here as one minus three I, and I can do some operations with these two. I wanna close my keypad so I've got a little more room. I'm gonna delete those modulus so you can see the W and the Z together. And now I can recall those and do some operations like W plus Z. I can do W times Z and I can do W divided by Z. 
And even though we're in complex mode, I can still graph real functions like y equals 2x. I'd love to know how else you use Desmos. I've got more for you here.